Hello, this is Glenn Zatola. I am considering putting out some podcasts as part of my uh, approach to trying to pass down to others what was passed down to me by those no longer here. I thought I would use my two CD set anthology, Life in Jazz, kind of like a script, because that has tracks from over 50, 60 albums, starting my first album when I was 15 years old, and there's a story behind each album. So I'm going to be putting up, um, in the form of what I would call a podcast, using that anthology, because it's chronological, as um, a script, so to speak. And I think I'll have the track that I'm talking about play in the back room while I'm talking, and then after, after the podcast is over, I'll have the track play on its own complete. This first uh, track on the album is Green Sleeves, and I recorded that at Nola Penthouse, a very famous studio in New York. Uh, how that occurred was when I was 11 years old, I first started working quite a bit on television. Uh, I was on Ted Mack Amateur Hour, and then I was on the Chubby Jackson. He was a great bass player from the swing era. He had a show called Little Rascals. And on his show, he had a full big band and everything. He would do music, and he had a bass on that show with a face painted on it, but he also show films of the Little Rascals, if you know what that is, if you remember the Little Rascals. So I went on that show with my quintet several times. I got friendly with Chubby. He actually got me my first gig when I was 11, guesting with Bobby Hackett and Jack Teagarden. But in any case, um, a band leader at a high school saw those shows and asked my father, he had a jazz band, and asked my father if uh, he could have me play in his high school jazz band, lead trumpet and jazz. And my dad, okay, dad used to drive me up there. And we won a contest, and my first big gig was at the Atlantic City Jazz Festival with that band, and I was on the bill with Dinah Washington, Jerry Mulligan, Oscar Peterson Trio, and Art Blakey with Wayne Shorter. And I was 13 years old, and I can remember being in the wings, ready to go on to do my set, and watching Dinah Washington sitting on a stool, uh, playing her big hit of the day, What a Difference a Day Makes. So that's where I started. And this track, Greensleeve, was a quintet that was formed off that big band. And the piano player, his name was Stu Hemingway, he was a friend, and he was studying with Bill Evans. And he organized this session at NOLA, actually on the piano that Bill Evans had recorded on. So it had saxophone, trumpet, me, piano, bass, and drums. And we did this green sleeves we did a whole christmas album and the track that i'm going to play for you that you hear in the background now is called green sleeves and that's the story behind it a little more on that i was on my way to the session and i said to myself wow flugelhorn might be nice for this session because i'd been listening to miles davis with the original gil evans album with which he played flugelhorn so I stopped off at a friend's house and I borrowed a flugelhorn for that session. And uh, this is the track, Green Sleeves. <laughs>
Thank you.